Hello, how is everyone doing? It is your Fallen Angel back with another video. Today, we are going over retrograde planets. It's specific notions, the aspects, and what happens when specific planets are in retrograde. Now, without further ado, we shall begin. Four or more planets that are retrograde in one's natal astrology chart indicate that the later half of one's life will be more eventful and if success is to come, it will occur later in the life. We also know this as the late bloomers. The houses ruled by the retrograde planets indicates affairs that, that will occur later in life. For example, the marriage house. Marriage or love can occur after 30 years of age or later. So for the people that aren't married yet and they feel like they haven't found their partner yet, maybe it could be because the stars aren't in your favor, maybe because of the retrograde planets, or maybe intrinsically there's some self-reflection that needs to be done. Regardless of the nuance, there is nuance. In addition, many retrograde planets can make one introverted and shy. People who have four or more of their planets retrograde are known as late bloomers. If the main chart ruler is retrograde, then the above applies, as the chart ruler has the most emphasis and importance in determining one's fate. If the co-rulers is retrograde and the main chart ruler is not, this will still affect the life, but not as much as when the main ruler is retrograde. The main ruler is the planet that rules the ascendant. The sun and moon are never retrograde. People who have Mercury retrograde can sometimes be a bit slower in learning or understanding than those who are born with this planet direct. These people can get lost in details and have trouble seeing this entire point, but can be excellent in research or working with details. The mind can be very active and the thoughts run deep. Ideas and thoughts may repeat themselves until one feels a sort of mental burnout. Mercury retrograde people perceive information and communications a bit differently. Ironically, these born with a Mercury retrograde function much better when transitioning Mercury is retrograde. Mercury retrograde usually indicates problems concerning one or more of the areas of life ruled by Mercury, speaking, writing, learning, the senses, sight and hearing, the brain, perceiving information, and verbal expression. In some cases, those who have retrograde Mercury can be reserved, shy, and quiet. In addition, one or more of the areas ruled by the house in which Mercury retrograde is posited, along with the houses with Gemini and Virgo, on the cusps, can sometimes experience delays or other problems. With Venus retrograde, love often comes later in life. These people can be very shy when it comes to love, relationships, and have trouble expressing their affections. In some cases, there can be physical problems or other circumstances that prevent one from pursuing a love relationship. These people can also feel unworthy of love for some reason. Any financial security often comes later in life. With Venus retrograde, one's love relationships can be very unconventional. In addition, one or more of the areas ruled by the house in Venus. Retrograde is posited along with the houses with Libra and Taurus on the cusps can experience delays or other problems. Mars retrograde holds one's anger inside. Now we know Mars to be one of the more malefic of the planets. Most often, one was severely punished in childhood for expressing any anger. These people dislike and avoid open confrontations. They can seethe and boil inside with rage, but usually 
they will not openly express it. Those who are in a close relationship with Mars retrograde, people often have to learn how to read them as the Mars retrograde person hides his or her anger. Mars retrograde people do not know how to express anger in an acceptable way. If they are pushed to a certain point to where they no longer can hold their anger in, they often overreact and can be explosive, right? We know Mars to be one of the more explosive, obsessive of the malefic planets. Given Mars rules the sex drive, in some cases, men who have Mars retrograde can suffer from sexual impotence. In determining this, one must look to other indications in the chart. Mars direct, posited in the 12th house, can have the same significance as Mars retrograde. If Mars retrograde is in Pisces, Libra, or in hard aspect to Saturn, the effects of expressing oneself are even more difficult and or restricted. I have seen a case where Mars was both retrograde and posited in the 12th house. The one with this had serious psychological and sex problems, but there were also other supporting aspects for this in his chart. In addition, one or more of the areas ruled by this house in which Mars retrograde is posited, along with the houses with Aries and Scorpio on the cusps, can experience delays or other problems. With the outer planets, one must look to the entire chart and the position of the retrograde planet in the chart in order to determine the strength of its influence, whether it be a benefit or a malevolence. When the personal planets are, re are retrograde, the influence is much greater than with the outer planets, unless they are prominently placed in the chart. Prominently places means on an angle conjunct the ascendant, the descendant, midheaven, or IC. The chart ruler or co-ruler or in close aspect to the ruler or co-ruler. Jupiter retrograde gives one a sense of inner fulfillment, peace, and contentment when retrograde Jupiter turns inwards. Taken all by itself, Jupiter retrograde is not as much concerned with the material aspects of life. These people, unless they are other contradictory influences in the chart, are more concerned with spiritual comfort and peace of mind and soul. They often seek out spiritual knowledge on their, no on their own and have their own beliefs instead of being indoctrinated by others. They can think for themselves and they often look for their spiritual answers from within rather than accepting religious dogma. In addition, one or more of the areas ruled by the house in which Jupiter retrograde is posited along with the houses with Sagittarius and Pisces on the cusps can sometimes experience delays or other problems. Saturn retrograde people often do not have a sense of limitations. We see Saturn as one of the greater malefics as well. As do those born with Saturn direct, he or she can take on too much work, take on too many responsibilities, and do too much for others. These people often have their own set of values. Discipline, demands, and severity are turned inwards upon the self. People with Saturn retrograde are often very self-critical and hard on themselves. They can make very high demands on themselves for personal achievement. These people may appear to be easygoing when taking orders from others or when given extra work or responsibilities. But on the inside, this is a different story. Retrograde Saturn often resents too many demands and can react against these with indirect ways. Taken alone, Retrograde Saturn does not desire fame or publicity. Success here is more personal. These people often have trouble in being 
authoritative with others should the need be. They have a difficult time saying no. Saturn retrograde is often hard on one's self-esteem, but be sure to look to other placements in a chart regarding this tendency. In addition, one or more of the areas ruled by the house in which Saturn retrograde is posited along with the houses with Capricorn and Aquarius on the cusps can experience delays or other problems. Uranus retrograde indicates the need for freedom and rebellion is very pronounced. When retrograde Uranus gives a strong sense of intuition, especially if there are, if there are other placements in one's chart supporting this, outwardly people with Uranus retrograde may seem to conform but they are very original and unconventional on a personal level. These people are often high strung. They will hold stress inside until suddenly they explode and overreact, going to emotional extremes. There is a strong tendency to exaggerate things. Uranus retrograde influences one to look for guidance from within rather than seeking answers outside of oneself, but seeks to reform and overthrow what is already established in the outer world. These people can feel alienated from others and quite often they do not fit in with society. In childhood, Uranus retrograde people frequently felt stifled in expressing their individuality and as they mature they have a tendency to take things to the extremes. In addition, one or more areas ruled by the house in which Uranus retrograde is posited along with the house that has Aquarius on the cusp can sometimes experience delays or other problems. Retrograde Neptune gives a very, very rich imagination and a fantasy life. There can be much inner confusion. The psychic and intuitive abilities are usually very well developed. These people can have a strong escapist tendencies with a strong susceptibility to abusing drugs and alcohol. With this strong use of their imagination, this right hemisphere brain, it's almost overpowering at, such, at a point that they want to escape, right? That is, that is also what we see with many, many, many influences with the stars and the planets is escapism. And it's very strong with retrograde Neptune. When retrograde Neptune gives extreme sensitivity along with a sense of idealism or perfectionism, with retrograde planets, the energies of the planet are turned inwards. These people may oftentimes live in their own fantasy world or and withdraw from the outer life. The house that contains Neptune along with the house where Pisces is on cusp can experience delays or other problems. Retrograde Neptune can manifest as pronounced Neptune as with the outer retrograde planets. One must look to the position in the chart to determine the strength of the retrograde influence. Retrograde Pluto gives a pronounced inner intensity along with a sense of aloofness. These people are usually very secretive and very few, if any, get to know them on a personal level. There can be cases of extreme repression and emotional extremes along with compulsions and feelings of isolation. This is the either or do or die type of individual. They either love something or they hate it. There is no gray area or in between. They are all or nothing. If other placements and aspects in the chart support this, the individual can be an introvert and or a loner. As with the other outer retrograde planets, one must look to the position in the chart to determine the strength of the retrograde influence. The house that contains Pluto, along with the house where Scorpio is on cusp, can experience delays or other problems. So guys, this has been Retrograde Planets, a short introduction, a short understanding of how the planets have its influence, whether it be benefic or malefic. So with that being said, feel free to like and subscribe, leave a comment down below. Check us out on Patreon, Rumble, Twitter, Instagram, things of that nature. This has been your fallen angel, and I am out.